what have I done to you? Like, you know, she started bringing up my past and try to figure out old people I dated or whatever she had to say about me. And I'm like, uh, ma'am, let's not, let us get on you. Let's not do that. Because some of the things that the ladies were saying, I felt like I could clearly go all the way in to say about them. Welcome back to Access Hollywood's Housewives Nightcap. Guys, I'm here alone this week, and Emily has a pretty good reason. Look who I'm here with. You finally made it I to <laughs> Blues the Manor. So I'm going to be on next week's episode of Housewives Nightcap. But this week, we still delivered because we have the queen of ATL herself, the peach of all peaches, Miss Candy. We just need to jump right into it because Real Housewives of Atlanta this season is delivering all the drama and a little bit more, like just th more than- You got me like this right now. <sighs> it's just a little nasty, little nasty drama. It's uh, a little nasty, yes. A little nasty. But how would you compare this season to the 12, cause you've been, this is your 13th season. So the 12 other seasons you've been on, how would you compare this one? Oh my goodness. Um, so you want me to compare it to all of the past seasons? Well, I mean, it, it's definitely the the girls are coming for me this year, for sure. Not as bad as I've seen it happen in my past, okay? But they're definitely coming for me, for sure. And um, I don't like it, to be clear. Why do you think they are coming for you? Like, yeah, we'll get into the nitty gritty of it all, but like overall, why are they coming for you this season, Candy? It's, it's very much giving jealousy that's what it's given for me because it, it the things that they said about me on the last episode were unprovoked i have not said anything i have not done them wrong in any kind of way it's like they're looking for a reason to have a problem with me and um and i personally feel that it's a jealousy issue like i mean they you know Marlo specifically kept bringing up, you know, why is Sonya so cool with Candy all of a sudden, you know, why she want to be friends with her. It's probably because she got more followers than us. And I was like, oh, why did they, they were a little shady with that edit when they show how many more yeah, followers. Yeah, how many, it was like Candy at nearly 10 million. And then it's like, burr, 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 burr. Kenya and Candy, is it because of followers? They have more publicity? Or oh, thank you. But it was just kind of like, you know, what have I done to you? Like, you know, she started bringing up my past and trying to figure out old people I dated or whatever she had to say about me. And I'm like, uh, ma'am, let's not, let us get on you. Let's not do that. Because some of the things that the ladies were saying, I felt like I could clearly go all the way in to say about them. Okay. But we just go leave it at that. But Candy, when Marlo was saying those things, I mean, she called you, she said so many things, I'm not even gonna repeat it. She's for herself. For herself. First of all, Candy was a damn hoe. She f***ed everybody for free. Yeah. That bitch was a hoe that's, and that pussy that's... wasn't good and that's why you guys <laughs> always got the date <laughs> underneath your good. tax bracket, okay? Preach. What were your thoughts going through your head when you saw that back? Because as a viewer, I'm like, she did not just say that. Honestly, I was, you know what, to be honest with you, like, I know that, if Marlo says anything out her mouth, you know what I mean? It's like, to me, she said that I was a hoe or whatever. I'm like, a woman who is a known or allegedly a known whore cannot <laughs> talk to me who who openly says, oh, you know, um, she she date, say that I am not dating, didn't get paid for sex or whatever. Well, clearly you're saying that you get paid for sex. Bam, you're the whore in this situation. That's the that's what it gave to me. So I was like, what is she talking about? But I was more surprised by Sheree co-signing everything that Marlo was saying. I was like, okay, I expect that from Marlo. But Sheree, I was like done when I saw that. I was totally shocked because I'm like, I haven't even done anything to Sheree like I'm not you know I don't even understand what this energy is coming from it just totally threw me off you guys have been longtime friends and this season you have had her back I know she was a little mad at you for not calling her about the whole 
boyfriend situation. About something that I heard from somebody right. else. It's like, clearly, I don't want to call you about drama if I'm hearing it through the great run. I want you to tell me and then I'll speak on it. Like, I didn't want to, like, first of all, she was already mad because she said that I repeated something, you know, previously that was said to me. Right. So why would I throw Kenya under the bus and go back and say, Kenya told me something that was said to her so that you could be mad at Kenya for the same reason. Like, no, I'm going to keep it to myself and wait till you're ready to talk to me about it. Like, I didn't even understand her being upset. I was confused, really. Yeah. The part that I was like, <laughs> she said something about, um, you know, oh, Ken, that's why Candy dates beneath her. Um, that's why she had to go bracket. beneath her tax bracket. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, first of all, Sheree was sitting there preaching telling her yeah like egging her on and co-signing everything that Marlo was saying I'm like uh Sheree you just got dissed by a man who just got out of prison honey like clearly if if that's not below your tax bracket he ain't paid taxes in years so I'm confused <laughs> like what what are you talking about I, I'm so confused how are you amen in what she's saying and in your situation I'm confused. He's uh, getting tired. Yeah. And played. Like she's totally played all the way around in all parts of her life. So girl, why are you coming? Why are you over here joining forces with somebody who ain't got somebody else who ain't got good, nothing going on? So I'm like, the two played lame ladies of the group. <laughs> it's like y'all joining forces against me. Oh, okay. Great. Where do you go with them after this? Because, I mean, or is this the first time you saw that like Marlo was saying all of that stuff? Or did you this get- This is the first time. I did not know that they were saying all of that about me. Like, no. I had saw an interview that Marlo did, um, I guess the week before. And I was mad. I was kind of like, not- Yeah, yeah she, I was, I was mad. And I was pissed off because yeah. I was like, okay- you know, the things that she was saying in, in, in the interview that someone had told me about, I was just like, whoa, like, where's that coming from? But right, when I right. saw this episode, I was like, because obviously we filmed, you know, and started filming in the fall of last year. So I'm like, okay, so this is something that you've been saying. You have been saying these things about me, but not to me. So I didn't know she felt that way. Like, I didn't know that this energy was happening around me, but not directly to where I would know about it. You know, I thought that was super foul, foul of her, very foul. So have you reached out to her? Have you talked to her? Like, no, I have nothing to say. I will talk to her at the reunion. Ooh, How about which, okay, which we'll be so excited for because we know Candy, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna say it how it is. Of course, and I will not be holding back. Great. They are going to have it at the reunion, it sounds like. <laughs> like, mm, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, okay. So they tried it. That's the way I look at it. Cause I'm like, girl, if you don't think I can't run down the list of things I can say about y'all, like, <laughs> what? Like easy, easy things. Uh, easy. But I'm like, I don't know. I feel like over the years, I became cool with them, you know. Yes. To me, you only like I'm not gonna pull out negative things to say about you unprovoked, you know. Right. Like, but I had not done anything to them for them to come at me in that way, you know. Right. So, well, now now they have, so now you can start writing down yeah. the list of things. It's okay. I'll I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for the reunion. <laughs> what do you think is Marlo's like whole? issue though this season because I remember like when we talked with you a couple months ago you were like she got her peach and then she just started throwing it at everyone yes um yeah that's what I'm saying like there were a couple things that happened during the season um that I realized you know because a couple of the girls would come back and tell me oh Marlo was saying this or that about you so that's how I was finding out that she was talking about me behind my back and then we had like two arguments that was happening during the season. Right. Um, you know, you'll see it. It hasn't happened yet. You'll see it when it airs. But um, so 
I was just kind of thrown off by Marlo. Like I'm like, out of all the people in this group, I feel like I'm the one who has been the most supportive, the most excited about her, you know, getting the peach the most, um, the one who's always try to like look out for her, you know, right. in some way. So I was just like, for her to come around and and try to pretend like I've never helped anybody or I don't look out for people. I was like, ooh, you are really making things up. <laughs> like you really just uh, looking for drama. You know what I mean? Like, cause that, the things that she was saying were totally false. Do you think though, she is just trying to hold on to that peach so then she can secure in a spot for next season? I would have to say that's that's what is given. Yeah, that's what it's coming off. That's how it's coming off to me. It's like, okay, you know, for me, I don't do fake beef. So I don't know, like, you know, I'm not ever gonna, I would have never really probably ever had any drama with her or anything if she had not start coming at me crazy, you know? So um, yeah, it's like she, she wants the action and she gonna get it. But are you ever over just the drama? Like, are you like, I just don't have time for this. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, um, you know, pretend like this, it gets annoying very much. So, um, especially when you want to, you know, you're trying to be in a good space, right. you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, I know I'm trying to be in a good space. I have a lot of things that I'm planning for, looking forward to, not to mention, like I already told you, I'm about to start filming with my group members. And with my group, I get even more emotional and stressed out dealing with them because of our, you know, we came up together since we were kids. So I'm like, last thing I need to be listening to is Marlo. Calling you a hoe. <laughs> all right. Like, girl, you gonna get all this action because I got drama coming from other places that is going to be released on you. You keep playing with me. <laughs> but Candy, the rest of the season, what can you, ex- what can we expect? Because like I said, it's already crazy it's already drama filled and it's already a little nasty which you know oh my gosh well well I can say that we can expect for it to get worse because like I said no no like I've already prepared my mind like I already know the argument that Marlo and I had in Jamaica yeah way below the belt okay so we really 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 went at each other in in that conversation in Jamaica but what I will say especially after seeing you know this past episode the things that her and Sheree are saying clearly they continue to say it around other people because Mm -hmm. during the season there were you know different people that were saying hey they've been talking about you and I'm like well really like they didn't say it to me like so I didn't even know all of this was going on but apparently it continues yeah I'm like I'm not here for that Ugh. not here for that especially when you're like you don't have you can't confront it but you will confront it at the reunion but sure. okay so where are you like where do you stand except not we know where you stand with Marlo but where do you stand with the other ladies right now um King and I are in a very very good place as well as you know Sonia and Drew like you know I get along great with everybody well I thought I got along great with everybody, but clearly (laughs) I get along great with Sonia, Drew, and uh, Kenya, apparently. Apparently. Now, Sheree recently said on uh, some interview that she wants, she thinks that, you know, Portia needs to come back. Kim Mm -hmm. needs to come back. Phaedra needs to come back. (laughs) I I would imagine you feel the opposite. You know, there's only one person that you named in that group that I just don't. Yeah. I just don't have anything else to say. I mean, anybody outside of that, like, I don't, I know that I'm not going to get along with everybody. So just because I don't get along with people doesn't mean that I would have an issue if they came back. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, Kim and I, when she left last time, we weren't on the best of terms, but I, I mean, I wouldn't, if they brought her back, I'm like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, and as far as um, Portia, we still talk here and there. Like we still communicate. So yeah, I'm fine. Come on back. Come on back. <laughs> if that's what you want to do. Like, 
I'm cool with it. I just feel like, you know, overall, the show is constantly changing. You know, some years we have certain people, some years we don't, you know what I mean? Sometimes some people come back, sometimes they don't. I'm just, whatever, whoever is here, that's who I'm dealing with. So right now I would have to say, Drew is definitely sharing everything that's going on in her life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is. I love Sonya as far as her, you know, being a part of the cast because I feel like she brings something different. As well as, you know, Kenya always going to be the shade assassin to me. Like, always. If you want shade, she got it. Okay. <laughs> and she's got plenty of it for you coming up in the rest of this season. Overall, I personally felt that this season turned out to be amazing. You guys haven't seen the whole thing. So if you haven't, you need to go ahead, get caught up with what's happening right now, and then continue to watch because as it plays out, it's good TV, okay?